China's IPO market continues to gain traction with four companies announcing they'll soon be listing. They're hoping to raise a combined $270 million. Marianne Bermard is live for us in Shanghai. Marianne, tell us about the companies and how the markets are reacting. Well, positive reaction so far. Shanghai Lianming Machinery, which will list on the Shanghai Stock Exchange, is aiming to sell up to 20 million shares. Three other companies involved as well to be listed on the smaller Shenzhen Stock Exchange are looking to raise a combined 1.5 billion yuan. So that's a total of $274 million U.S. between all four companies. Now, if all goes as planned, it should be quite successful. Most analysts I spoke to agree that Chinese IPOs have very much outperformed U.S. IPOs by about 35% on average. And looking ahead, there's some market anxiety, of course, that Alibaba's IPO could actually deflate the rest of China's IPO market. The China Security Regulatory Commission is planning about 100 IPOs for the rest of this year, bringing the full year tally up to 150. Okay, a lot of positive reaction there, but how do investors view the CSRC's policy changes? Well, it's been a little bit tricky. You know, there's been mixed views on this. Some analysts are saying that the policy reform will improve the quality of IPOs as part of a broader reform and really help fix the securities market. Uh, but others argue that the CSRC's tightened rules on IPO pricing has actually intimidated some firms into voluntarily suspending their listings. The CSRC, of course, denies such charges. But the policy changes were prompted by insider trading in China's IPO market, which, of course, then prompted the 14-month suspension. New IPOs in January then faced another pause and so here we are back in the game some investors are saying that by allowing financially weaker companies to list uh, at the same time making it easier for owners and uh, cor and cornerstone investors to actually cash out on the primary market for the first time the CSRC may have inadvertently uh, encouraged overpricing okay Mary thanks very much from Shanghai